Fabuli 33.3. Now this lesson is about the purpose clause. This is the first time we've seen this. Postquam infines amazonum venet, after he came into the territory of the Amazons. Fines, that's an interesting noun, a little uh, prepositional phrase there. Fines means borders. And of course, if you have multiple borders, you get territory. So there's your phrase, a little time phrase there, after he came. Now we get to the main verb here, misit. He sent, misit, nuntium, direct object, a messenger, ad Hippolytan, little chunk there, to Hippolyte, qui. All right. I want you to really take notice of this relative pronoun here. This qui, it refers back to the nuntium. The relative pronoun agrees with its antecedent number, singular, singular, and gender, masculine, masculine. However, its case is determined by its function in its own clause. Nuntium is the DO. It's in the accusative. Qui is nominative, singular, masculine, and it's the subject of its clause. Its clause starts at qui, and it goes all the way to the end here. And this is the relative clause of purpose. Relative clause, purpose. Now you've learned about the purpose clause and the only difference, and this is what makes it super simple, the qui replaces ut. Simple. So, you can see if there was an ut here, send a messenger to Hippolyte, two, and then we have one imperfect subjunctive, docorate, two imperfect subjunctives, poscorate, two docorate causam veniendi, to learn the reason of his coming, and number two, et baltium poscorate, and to ask for the belt. Two imperfect subjunctives in this relative clause of purpose. It's just as though qui were an ut, but instead you get the relative pronoun. The only complication, if you're writing it in Latin, you've got to make this agree with the antecedent. Otherwise, it's just a regular purpose clause, and we translate it with that infinitive.